Hey guys, anybody's having trouble like I have been for weeks trying to get Amplitude 3 to record in Reaper. Uh, I've come up with something today that finally got it to work. Uh, here's what here's what I did. Um, you saw that ASIO thing, that's my interface. It's a uh, Behringer uh, USB guitar interface, very cheap. The one that everybody's trying to get to work because it does a pretty good job. Anyways, what you have to do, get Reaper open, go into track, insert virtual instrument on new track, go down to your VST, which is, I think it's Virtual Studio or whatever they call it. Um, there's a few in here. I've got a demo for guitar rig, but I'm going to go Amplitude 3 and hit OK. There's your first screen. You can move that out of the way. Now, a couple things we have to do now, because I've got an ASIO interface or whatever interface you have. By default, now you see, by default, it's going to pick your sound card. You don't want that. I right, delete this. This X, by the way, if you notice, it's saying it's in use by something else because I'm speaking into it. That's okay. We don't need that anyways. All we want lit up is my Behringer USB interface, in and out. Now here's the thing that most people get screwed up on is is it will always record the in which a lot of people on the internet they're saying they can record clean sounds but they can't record the modeled sound from amplitude that's because we have to monitor the output all right so we've got this as the only two here that's good now here this is the this is the trick here first of all you got to make sure you you monitor uh, output and you want to bring this down here you've got and you don't want input you want right here input stereo so it's going to input the USB audio from the uh, the Behringer interface which is exactly oops, what you want to have now you can see this bar I'm plucking the guitar. You won't be able to hear it, I don't think, because you have to be monitoring the interface, and i am got a headset on so I can record this audio. So anyways, this is ready to arm. It's recording the... See what it says here? You want to make sure that it says recording the output. So it's going to record the output of the sound card you've picked, which is the audio interface, USB audio interface. So... Just I'll get some gritty sounds here. Uh, orange amp. Record my track. You can see the waveforms recording. Okay, I'm going to stop that. Now I'm going to rename this. I may have to edit this audio in later because I'm using two sound devices and I can only, with my screen capture software, record one at a time. So I'm going to rename that to Orange Demo without dropping the guitar. Save. Now I'm going to save all. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to try and play this right now. I'm not sure. I'll, I may not hear it. I may hear it. Uh, otherwise, I'll try and edit it in. So that's, if you've heard that, then it's, it's played fine. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, uh, turn up some gain, see what I can make this do. Okay, played a little bit there. Stop that. 
Rename orange high gain. Okay, let's see if we can play that back. I'll play it back through here. Yeah, that there was lots of noise on that. I was on a single coil pickup. Uh, and I'm sitting under a bunch of lights, so it's, uh, I could have played with the, uh, on Amplitube here, they have the, uh, the noise gate here. I didn't even have it turned on, so that's no big deal. Now, now we've got that, we know we can input, you can see the, you can see the guitar volume changing like crazy. Now, what I'm going to do, if you wanted to play to a backing track, insert media file. I'll uh, just take something like this. For some reason it went down there. There we go. Delete that. I'll arm both. And we'll see what this does. Now I can't hear the backing track. I made the mistake there. <laughs> I'm not supposed to play, uh, record the backing track there because then I'm going to record over it. I should have just had it playing. There we go. There's the two files. So once you get your guitar, your backing track, then you could, you know, do your editing like you normally do. So, um, hopefully that audio edits in. If not, I'll, uh, I'll try and, uh, mix it in somehow. Uh, but anyways, that's how that works. I know a lot of people are having problems with it. Hope that helped. <laughs>